This week on Canada in the Rough. Paul Beasley is after moose in Newfoundland. He'll be hunting by boat with Gander River Outfitters through some of Newfoundland's roughest weather of the entire season. Join us this week on Canada in the Rough. After landing at the Gander Airport in central Newfoundland, Paul met up with Matt Romke of Gander River Outfitters. They loaded up the gear in the truck and headed north to the river, where they will switch over to a boat for the remainder of the trip to camp. are here we finally made it to the beautiful Gander River and uh, you know we've uh, we got here and the weather's cold we've actually got a little bit of mist in the air it's like a foggy mist uh, so we're gonna actually put some rain gear on jump into these freighter canoes these long 21 foot freighter canoes and we're gonna boat up river to camp and get settled in so gonna unpack my gear here and get dressed and we'll be on our way The trip to camp was especially adventurous, being in such a picturesque location and in such a unique watercraft. The Gander River Boat, also referred to as a Gander River Canoe, was designed specifically for this river by generations of fishermen and builders. These long, narrow vessels are able to navigate the rapids and shallow waters while still remaining stable. As you make your way upriver, it's hard not to feel nostalgic and think back to the many fishermen and hunters that must have traveled this same route over the generations. Here at Gander River Outfitters, we're located on the mighty Gander River. Camp is located five kilometers from the mouth of the river itself. We use the river for hunting, but also for transportation in and out of the lodge itself. Here at the lodge, we can accommodate up to 14 people during the fishing season. Uh, hunting season will take generally groups of two to four. Every hunter will have their own bedroom, which has its own bathroom and private shower. And we have a full dining room, lounge, TV room, and full kitchen. I love hunting and fishing. Hunting is more the adventure, though. Like the, that adventure of hunting is like, uh, there's nothing like it. It's like you versus nature. I, I think it's honestly one of the last true adventures there really is. Oh, a little damp this morning. Yeah, not bad at all. What no, are you thinking? No wind, so I think we'll jump in the boat, head up river. Do some calling, hit some bogs, and take it from there. Sounds like a typical day in Newfoundland. It is indeed. Just add big bulls.
After a couple hours of calling and no response, they decided to go mobile and check out other locations. Unfortunately, the wind was beginning to pick up, and when it comes to moose hunting in this area, being able to call to the moose is vital. challenge today. The wind is just relentless. It's blowing so hard at times, just gusting, and it's just making it impossible. I don't, number one, I don't think the moose can even hear us. Number two, I don't think the moose like moving in this weather that much. I think they bed down and they just lay low. So we've been moving from spot to spot to spot, stopping and calling for an hour to two hours at a time, and just nothing. Haven't seen a thing, haven't heard a thing. There's moose sign all over here, but just nothing's working. The heavy winds kept up the rest of the afternoon, continuing to make calling and listening for responses virtually impossible. The guys would have to hope for better weather tomorrow. The next morning, the guys got up bright and early, ready to reverse their fortunes from the previous day. First, they fueled up with a hot breakfast. As they headed out in the boat, they hoped to take advantage of the calm morning, knowing that higher winds were coming later that day. Paul and Matt decided to stop and do some calling along a quiet stretch of river surrounded by thick timber and several bogs. They set up the cow decoy and the remote caller a short distance away, then settled in for the morning. After 45 minutes and no bull, the guys decided to pack up and try their luck calling further downriver. Constant wind again made for a long day of ineffective calling. It's hard not to get frustrated when the weather is such a hindrance, but there is no controlling the weather. So the guys kept pushing on. Over the course of the day, they used Matt's electronic caller to put out some louder cow bawling, hoping it would break through the wind and draw in a bull from further off. They also tried some bull grunts and some raking, attempting to mimic an aggressive bull and hopefully fire up some jealousy at a competing bull nearby. Late in the afternoon, Paul and Matt decided to try one last calling session. They found a sheltered bog slightly protected from the wind to finish off their day. Yeah, 
where she goes after, right? Can you do a grunt with that horn? Yeah. Could be a bull tail, alright? It'd be nice if it was. This time of year there should be. There should be, right? Unfortunately, a bull never did appear and the winds never let down, leaving the guys dejected as they made their way back to camp that night. Though they could find solace knowing there was a delicious meal waiting for them back at the lodge. On Paul's third day, the weather took a turn for the worse. More heavy wind and a torrential rainstorm made the woods at River unsafe, so they were forced to retreat to the cabin to wait out the storm. Well, I began to sound like a broken record because every day the weather is just not helping us at all and today's no different we lost almost all yesterday to practically hurricane winds and rain sideways blowing just the nastiest stuff you could ever imagine and we go today it's, 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 the, the rain's let up and the skies are starting to clear a little bit but we've just got the winds again we just cannot get a break tomorrow's actually got a worse forecast tomorrow's gonna be high high winds 30 to 30 millimeters of rain all day long 90 percent chance it's just gonna be disgusting so we're really running out of time here and running out of options so i won't lie my uh my dreams of what uh, we're gonna expect out of this hunt are starting to uh change a little bit and this is turning into more of a let's just get a bull down or a moose down actually just in general so we'll see how today goes play it all out and uh Hope for the best still. The morning calling again proved fruitless. The relentless high winds were proving to be a very difficult obstacle to overcome. The guys decided to move on to a larger bog for the rest of the morning. They got set up and sat down to call for a couple hours. After 20 minutes and no response or sightings, the guys decided to move in in hopes of locating the bull. Unfortunately, they came up empty-handed. They stuck it out for the rest of the afternoon, but they got more of the same, heavy winds and more rain, but they weren't ready to give up just yet. They knew heading into their last day that all it takes is one stroke of luck to turn a hunt around. Moose, moose, it's a bull. 
just gonna drop it down in the molars there. Take them now. All right, here we go. Nice shot. Give it to him again, Paul. He's down, Paul. You got him. <laughs> yes, buddy. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, good job. Nice shot. Oh, thank you. Does that ever feel good? Man, that was fantastic. The monkey's off our back. Oh, my goodness. Huh? <laughs> we worked for it, didn't we? <laughs> Did we ever? Oh. What else can you do when you have a week that the weather deals you, like, crap yeah. after crap? Yeah, wind, rain. You, you couldn't have... You, the only thing that could have made it worse was... 18 inches of snow that we had to trudge through. <laughs> That's right, we didn't get that. <laughs> That's all we didn't get. We had everything else. Absolutely everything else. Tornado winds, 102 kilometer winds it reached this week, they say in Gander. Just, oh my gosh. I'm happy, man. Great job. We got him. We Great. got him. Let's go have a look. All right, sounds good. There's your moose, Paul. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you got him, buddy. You got him. got him. Amazing. Oh, yes. Nice bull, buddy. Let me just check him. He's down. He oh. is down. Oh. Perfect. Woo. Let me just get these clothes off here. Wow. Yes, man. Wow. Nice move, sir. Oh, let's have a look at him. Yes, sir. It's eight point bull. Wow. We got him. All right, good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wow. Did we ever work for that boy? We did. Huh? We had everything against us. The wind, uh, it, rain. There, there's nothing worse in moose hunting than a week of weather like that. Yeah. There's just nothing you can do. Yeah, it doesn't work. These things don't want to move. When they do, they're in the thick cover where you can't see them. They can't hear your call. They don't even want, they're not in the mood to answer your call. No, no. Just, but we, just doesn't work. We did it, though. We did it. Yeah. Look what happens when you persevere. That's right. That's it. It's all about patience, eh? It is. Yep. It is. Definitely. Newfoundland yeah. has never, ever disappointed us. We've always had incredible trips here. And I'm just excited. This is one big chunk of meat right here. Yes, sir. Good eating. You got a nice eight-point bull. <laughs> eh? Just awesome. We did it. Just awesome. Thanks again. Good job, sir. Thank you very much. Happy for you. Now we got some work ahead of us. We uh, get them all pieced out. Get them done and lug them back to the boat. It's gonna take a while. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get at her. Whether it's a reliable fixed blade or a convenient folding knife, what's crucial for this stage of the hunt is a blade that's sharp and stays sharp. Field dressing a moose is a long and arduous task, but using a knife that has a titanium bonded steel blade that won't dull halfway through the job definitely makes it easier. Paul and Matt had a lot of work ahead of them, breaking down the moose into movable portions to bring back to the boat. As they worked, Mother Nature reared her ugly head once more, pounding the guys with a passing hailstorm, a fitting end for a trying week of hunting in Newfoundland. Well, that's a wrap on a great week here at Gander River Outfitters in Newfoundland. What an amazing time we've had, and it's not because we've had great weather. Oh my goodness, we have had absolutely every bit of weather you could possibly see all in one week. It literally was the worst week of winds and rains and storms that Newfoundland's seen all year. And sure enough, it was during our week. But that couldn't stop us from putting a nice bull on the ground here at Gander River Outfitters. If you ever have the chance to come to Newfoundland and enjoy one of these great moose hunts, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.